Hello everyone, welcome to Kashiano Easy Math. We have here a nice looking exponential equation, 5x equals 5 to the power of x. In this video, we'll be using the Lambert W function to solve our equation. And so we'll be transforming the equation into x times e to the power of x equals a constant. So we have here x times e to the power of x is equal to a constant. And we're using the formula, lumber W function, W times x times e to the power of x equals x. And so before we can use the, the Lambert W function, we have to convert the equation into this form, x times e to the power of x. Equals the right-hand side, a constant. And so how are we going to convert the equation? 5x equals 5 to the power of x into this form. So let's start by writing the equation again. So 5x equals 5 to the power of x. Here divide the equation by 5 to the power of x. So divide by 5 to the power of x. So we have 5x divided by 5 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x. So here 5 to the power of x cancel. Left hand side we have 5x times 5 to the power of negative x. So that's from the exponent formula that is 1 over a to the m is equal to a to the negative m. From the denominator, moving it to the top, the numerator, we'll have a to the m. From here, positive, it will become negative. And here, the right hand side is 1. So next, we'll be expressing 5 to the negative x. So this can be written the same way as 5 to the power of negative x is equal to e to the power of ln of 5 to the power of negative x. Since e to the power of ln cancels, and this becomes just 5 to the power of negative x. And so back to our equation. So we have this, so 5 times x times the value of 5 to the power of negative x is e to the power of ln 5 negative x. So we have e times ln of 5 negative x equals 1. Our aim here is to follow the equation format in the form of x times e to the power of x equals constant. So that means we have the exponent right here, ln of 5 to the power of negative x. So we must transform 5x to make it ln 5 to the negative x. So how are we going to do that? So we're going to multiply the whole equation by negative ln of 5 and at the same time dividing it by 5, right? So here we have the left hand side, 5 divided by 5 will become just x and multiply it with negative ln of 5 so we have negative x ln of 5 times e to the power of ln of 5 negative x equals negative ln of 5 divided by 5. So here if you notice you can now move the exponent negative x to the front of the exponent right. So now we have negative x ln of 5 times e to the power of negative x times the ln of 5 equals negative ln of 5 divided by 5. So now if you notice the left hand side of the equation is now transformed into the form of x times e to the power of x where x here is in the form of negative x times ln of 5 and right hand side negative ln of 5 divided by 5 is constant value. If you can recall our formula from up above earlier. So we have here x times e to the power of x. The right hand side is constant. And so now we can use Lambert W function to get the value of x, right? So now we're introducing Lambert W function into the equation. So 
taking Lambert W function to the equation. So we have W of negative x ln of 5 times e to the power of negative x ln of 5 equals W of negative ln of 5 divided by 5. So here our x is in the form of negative x ln of 5. Likewise, the exponent. So we have negative x ln of 5 equals w of negative ln of 5 divided by 5. So from here to solve for the value of x, we divide the whole equation by negative ln of 5. And so we have negative x ln of 5 divided by negative ln of 5 equals w times negative ln of 5 divided by 5 all over negative ln of 5. So here we have x is equal to negative 1 over ln of 5 times w of negative ln of 5 divided by 5. So we can now consider the value of x here as our answer. But then, if we are after the decimal form value of x, so now to get the value of w of negative ln of 5 divided by 5, we have to refer to Wolfram alpha to find this value. So w of negative ln of 5 divided by 5 is equal to by entering the product log of negative ln 5 divided by 5, we have here the value that is equal to negative 0.568164. Multiplying this value to the reciprocal of negative ln 5, x is equal to 0.35298. And so on. Now let's check our answer. So we have the original equation 5 times x equals 5 to the power of x, and we have the value of x. So multiplying 5 to the value of x over here, that is equivalent to 1.76. That's approximate. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 0 0.35298. That's approximately 1.76 again. Uh, so that's we have equal value left and right of the equation. So this just confirms that the, our answer x.35298 is correct. So this is now our final answer or we can consider this also as our answer already. And so that's all for now. If you like this video, just don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day everyone. Bye. Thank you.